Florida State football, a program with a rich football history, with three national titles, 18 conference titles, three Heisman winners, and 45 consensus All-Americans. These past few seasons, it has not treated them the best football-wise, but finally in 2022, the program seems to be heading back in the correct direction, as in 2022, the Seminoles went 10-3 and, and ended the season on a great win streak of six games. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about why you need to keep your eyes on Florida State in 2023 and why it's truly going to be a make it or break it season for the Seminoles. Before I move on, remember to smash that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Now let's get into it. To start the video off, I want to briefly talk about FSU football these past five seasons before 2022. From 2017 to 2021, FSU had a record of 26-33, missing bowl games three of the five years. Even in the first two years of the Norvell era of Florida State football, they missed bowl games in both seasons going 8-13, for their 2020 and 2021 seasons combined. Florida State football in 2022 exceeded a lot of people's expectations. A team that didn't go to a bowl game the last couple seasons to start off the Norvell era. Everyone knew they had talent, they had potential, but it was a matter if they were really going to put it together. And, well, to put it simply, they put it together in 2022. They finished 10-3. They went 5-3 in ACC play. Their offense was good, averaging 36.1 points a game, and the defense was on point pretty much all season long, only allowing 20.6 points on the season. They did face some adversity in the 22 season as well, as they started off 4-0 on a four-game win streak, beating Duquesne, LSU, Louisville, and Boston College. But the next three games for their ACC play, they would drop games to Wake Forest, North Carolina State, and Clemson, all by almost one possession. They lost to Wake Forest by 10, NC State by 2, and Clemson by 6. It's also worth noting that this was Florida State's first 10-win season since 2016. Briefly transitioning into college football recruiting in Florida State football, their 2023 recruiting class are number 16th overall, the number 20 composite class high school-wise, and they have the number 2 transfer portal ranking class as of the recording of this video. Now they have a pretty solid high school class, with 5-star wide receiver Hakeem Williams being their top prospect in the class. However, I like their transfer portal class even more, as they have some great talent that's going to make some strides for them immediately in 2023 to push this team over the edge potentially, with players such as Gilbert Edmond, Calandre Jones, Fentrell Cypress, Braden Feisk, Jeremiah Byers, and Jaheim Bell, just to name a few. The 2022 season, of course, recently just ended after Georgia beat TCU in the national championship game 65-7, but right as you transition into the college football offseason, people want to talk about way too early rankings or way too early predictions, and something seems consistent near the beginning of the 2023 offseason hype, and that is that Florida State they're going to have a lot of expectations for the football team for 2023. There's always a lot of people that try to write off the hype or try to ignore teams that get hyped up before the 2023 seasons that haven't necessarily been, let's say, powerhouse programs within the last five years of college football. However, I do feel like some of the hype is warranted around FSU football as we progress through the offseason and head into the 2023 football season. This is a Florida State team going into 2023 that is returning some of the most starting production in all of college football for the year from 22 to 2023. They're returning players that were expected to be first round picks like Jared Burst, and most importantly, returning their starting quarterback who I believe is one of the better quarterbacks in college football and I believe has a chance to be a Heisman finalist in 2023 in Jordan Travis. When looking at the Florida State football program as of right now, looking from the outside in, you have to acknowledge that they have a top tier culture within those walls. And I feel like you can see that in a variety of ways. There's always a lot of college opt-outs for bowl games when bowl season comes around, and the bowl game like the Cheez-It Bowl 
I think it's a decent bowl game. However, that's a bowl game where people are ultimately going to opt out of from. However, Florida State, they didn't have a single opt-out from anyone that is a starter. And of course, they have players that are coming back to their team that had good draft evaluations. Whether they were first-round picks or guys that could have been decently draft-stocked quarterbacks like Jordan Travis. They're all running it back for the 2023-2024 college football seasons. And they want to make it known and they want to leave a footprint for this Florida State program. Other ways that Florida State is building on some hype for this 2023 season that we're going to be entering in the coming months is because of their transfer portal class. As I mentioned just a while ago, they have the number two transfer portal class in the nation. They don't have the most commits in the class. However, they have some of the highest rated players in the entire class. They have nine commits, seven of which being four stars, two being three stars. There's a lot of players that they're bringing in that not only are going to be immediate impact players, but are going to be guys that are just going to make every unit that they're on a lot better and progress this team to at least be better or potentially to be a lot better than they were in 2022. Players like Fintrell Cypress, Braden Feisk are ones I'm very excited about. And of course, you cannot ignore the big tight end from South Carolina, Jaheim Bell, who in my opinion is one of the best tight ends in all of college football, and you're giving Jordan Travis another big target to pass to in that pass game. If there's one thing that the transfer portal taught us from 2022, is that you can ultimately change your program day one and progress it for the future just by one transfer portal class. For example, USC, they went 4-8 in 2021. 2022, they're in the Pac-12 championship game, and they even went to the Cotton Bowl. If I was y'all, I would definitely keep an eye out on Florida State football in 2023, as if they really put it all together for the season, they're going to be one of the best teams in college football. And of course, with all the hype that they're receiving right now, there's going to be a lot of expectations. Now, there's people that think they're going to win the ACC NBA college football playoff team. And if they ultimately do not reach those goals, People are going to be labeling them as busts and disappointments. And of course, we're months away from the college football season starting, and the transfer portal is still going to be active and lively, and we could expect Florida State to add a few more players potentially. Well guys, if you made it this far in today's video, drop something down in the comment section below. How do you think Florida State football is going to perform in the 2023 college football season? Do you think they're going to live up to the hype or not? And before you all head out, Remember to smash that like button, turn on those post notifications, and subscribe if you haven't already. B. Kelly out.